Greetings, Greyheaded Gamer here. I was cruising Reddit the other day and ran across a post from somebody mentioning a old school RPG game called Journey, which is a work in process name, uh, on Kickstarter by a guy named Brian Good. Uh, it ha didn't have any backers at the time, but uh, as you can see, it's got seven backers now, 57 Canadian, with a goal of 3,000 Canadian. Most games are looking for a huge amount. This guy is only looking for enough to get an artist in and help him with his artwork on the game. Um, so I emailed him and, and talked to him for a little bit and decided to uh, do a, just a little playthrough. Uh, he cleaned up a demo for me and um, sent it over. And I figured we just run through the demo real quick and just show you the highlights of the game. It's, it's a real... Uh, very cool old school top view turn based combat use the arrow keys and the inner key uh, we will start a new game and uh, as you can tell there's no title screen no splash screen nothing fancy yet um, before you start you have to choose a party you get four uh, people in your party now he'll you can go here and, and it'll explain each of the classes but we'll skip that for now I'll give you a brief overrun of all the classes um, some are weaker, some are stronger, some work better together. So you get to pick four. Now your fighter is your classic melee, wears armor, uses swords and axes. Your thief uh, wears lighter armor and can uh, help with the looting process, get better treasure, uh, also escaping battles. Librarian uses books for special abilities, uh, kind of like a magician but uh, with book based. Uh, then you have your white mage. Uh, basically a healer can attack but they're mostly for healing and then you have your black mage which is um, big attacks uh, as far as magic goes and your monk is hand to hand so we're gonna start off with a fighter we add him to the party name him we shall name him Bill and we'll come down here and okay next we will pick let's come down to a white mage everyone needs a healer we'll put her in there and call her let's call her Sue and you click through just like an old-school game I love it very in, very easy to navigate menus uh, next is a black mage let's do that for damage yes she joins the party and we shall name her oh what will we name her we'll name her peg short for Peggy okay and last but not least how about a monk hand-to-hand -hand, very cool little player model for the monk welcome to the party monk and we will call him uh, how about we name you bunk bunk the monk only makes sense actually it doesn't make any sense but that's okay so here's your party satisfied you cannot change it after this yes I am satisfied and here's our top-down little world view We'll come up here. Remember, this is a demo, very early demo. There, uh, there's a little quest up in this castle up here, but um, I'm not even sure if it's complete yet. So we'll come in first things first, and we will head up, and you need to equip your characters. It's very cool. You can buy and sell um, equipment. You find things during battles that you can sell for gold. You earn gold in battles. There's also a crafting system, which is very cool. I'm not sure if it's actually uh, usable yet in the demo. But we have a, both a black and a white mage, so we'll come over here to white mage first. You start the game with 1,500 gold, I believe. You must be interested in the power of holy magic. Is that it? Yes, that is it. Well, you've come to the right place. Here, let me show you. So we are going to buy. So we have heal. And we have holy strike. So we are going to do heal for Sue. And now she has already learned this spell because we just bought it. Escape gets you out of the menus. And now we'll come down. I think that's great how you can see all four of your characters. That's beautiful. I'm glad it's just not one guy representing the whole the whole group. So now, uh, the dark arts. Easy to learn, difficult to master. I'll show you what you need to know for a price. So we are going to go to buy. And this is for peg. We got fire and ice. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. Oh, ice. Requirements. Black magic level 2. I see it goes to unable to learn so okay we will learn fire very cool escape out of the menu and now we will come down and we need to buy a couple weapons for the fighter and the monk 
And now you can talk to people in town. You just go up to them and hit your inner key. Mother says I shouldn't talk to strangers. Then again, she says I shouldn't leave the castle too, but I do anyway. And I'm big enough to do whatever I want. Shut up, kid. So now let's come up here. We have a little shield. This must be the armor. No, yeah, armor shop. Oh, very nice. Armor on tables. Suits of armor. Oh, very cool. Uh, we're not going to do armor right now, but there's your armor shop. Uh, let's see. That looks like food. Items over there. Ah, sword on the wall. Must be weapons. Let's talk to weapon guy here. Welcome to my weapon shop. Please grab what you need. Absolutely. We will buy. Let's see. Knife. Peg can use a knife. Wow. Black mage can use a knife. Oh, let's get her a knife. Just in case uh, she runs out of magic. Spiked gloves. Plus four for bunk. We will take that. Hand axe. Plus 15 for our fighter. Very nice. We'll take that. And then we'll escape out come out here and then you must equip your weapons and we hit the escape key to go to our character management screen and we'll come down to equipment for bill and you can change everything by hand or this handy little optimize button boom it automatically puts what you need escape out uh, again with the equipment I uh, don't think we need to do anything for Sue peg needs her knife and then we will go down to bunk the monk and optimize for his spiked gloves. Very easy, very manageable uh, menus. Uh, you can see down here, you know, you can do equipment. Your uh, gives you the status of your characters. There's the crafting uh, formation to change your group the way they walk around. Journal for saving skills, items. You know, it's really intuitive menus. Uh, love the layout. Very simple. Very uh, 1990s. Nintendo leave town and we'll just get into a fight real quick so we can see the fight mechanics it's a very cool turn-based fighting uh, I'm sure yes much better chance of getting to a fight in the jungle so we have four on four a creep has emerged and the very first thing we do is run or battle we will battle this is Bill Bill has fight special guard and items now he doesn't have any special and we don't want a guard so we'll fight Pick the first creep. Sue. Sue is our magician. Um, I don't want to fight, but also we don't know who they're going to attack, so we can't really heal. But we want to see the magic anyway, so we're going to heal. It's going to cost 40 mana points, and we will heal. Uh, let's heal Bunk, even though he's not damaged yet. And then Peg. Oh, wait, nope. Peg, we want to use magic fire magic for creep one and then bunk will just attack creep one. Oh, very nice healing effect very nice magic effects I'm uh, actually kind of pleasantly surprised about that and then we go to the uh, attacking and now we can actually heal a party member oof big damage so we are going to battle bill will fight creep number one Sue, you are going to use magic. She is going to heal the Black Magician. Black Magician is going to not battle. Use her magic on creep number one and bunk his hand-to-hand. -hand. He gets two attacks. Very nice. I guess two fists, so it makes sense. Boom. Healed peg up. And a nice attack. Now we are down to three on four. Oh, was that f five originally? It was a five on four fight? Not very fair, guys. Okay, Sue, we're gonna use your magic. Oh, looky there. Magic ar magic points already going down. Can't even use my magic anymore. Wow! Okay, so let's just, uh, just smack him, I guess. Sue. Peg is down to 50. Well, at least her, her fire spell's only 30. And then bunk with your double fist attack. lane and then our fighter took no damage not good come on guys pick up a pick up the fight here fight the creep now does she gain oh she gained four magic points between rounds 
but her heal spell is 40. So I probably should have saved that first heal. Well, now I know. Alright, so just escape to get out of that, and you just smack him with your spell book or whatever. Peg is down to 20 magic points, but she does have at least the dagger to attack with, and then of course Monk gonna knock him with his spiked gloves. Ooh, excellent hit Peg, 77. So uh, there's critical damage. Ooh, Sue took 102. Okay, so no no magic points for magic, so I'm just going to enter through and everyone's just going to attack in this battle. There we go, good job, Monk. 30 experience and 125 gold. No items, but hey, there you go. Turn-based, top-down, old-school RPG. Um, and you got to remember, this is a work in process. Even the name is uh, still a work in process. I, myself... Love the demo. I'm going to sit here and play it a little bit more, but I want to just give you guys a brief overrun. So you've got crafting, you've got items and magic and, and different characters, different, uh, you know, play styles. Very cool. If you're into old school games, guys, go on over to Kickstarter. I got the link in the description. Give Brian Good um, a little bit of uh, money. Give him a pledge. You figure five bucks. You get the game when it comes out. And, um, you know, it's a good top-down old school RPG. So there's your look. I'm Grayheaded Gamer. Thanks for watching, guys. Head on over to Kickstarter, and I will see you guys later.